Thank you, Lord. If you can stand, please stand with us. Let's focus our heart and our mind, Lord, this morning. Dear Heavenly Father, we'd just like to thank you this morning just for waking us up, first of all, for, for our good health and strength, Lord, for keeping us over the night. When others didn't wake and open their eyes, we thank you for letting us open ours, Lord, for, for the blood running warm through our veins, dear Lord. We thank you for all the family and friends and the ones that have made it out to the church today who have pushed their way even if they didn't feel like pushing their way. We thank you for the ones that will be watching us over the internet today, Lord. We pray that their hearts and their minds will be filled as well, Lord. And that your praises and that your word that come forth today will be for the glorification of your kingdom, Lord. We pray for the musicians that their hands will be touched and that their, their voices of the choir will be on one accord with them and that everything will flow in the spirit, Lord. We pray for the man of God who's bringing the word forth today, Lord, that it may flow through him like mighty rivers of water, Lord. We pray for all the things that you've brought before us, Lord, whether it be good or bad, that we have made it through. We thank you for all the things that you will bring us forth to go through as the days go longer and the nights get colder, Lord. We thank you for it. We thank you for the summer that's ahead of us, Lord. And we pray for that, that, just, that just everything will just open up and begin to come back to one. We pray for our government, for our, pe for our presidents, for our, our governor, for the senates and all the boards of the school committee, that things will just start to come back in one, Lord. We pray for our vehicles, that our vehicles will run as they should run and that nobody will have no problems or no issues or no breakdowns on the highways and byways. We just pray for strength in our bodies, for the mothers, for the elders. We pray for strength in them. For the ones that are sick, we pray for perfect peace and perfect health, that you would just raise them back up and give them one accord, Lord. We pray for all these young babies that are come up that you would just continue to let them push forward and, and let, their, let, let the gifts that you got stirred inside them begin to show. Most of all, Lord, we just thank you for being great in who you are and for just having mercy on us, though a lot of us don't deserve mercy. We thank you for forgiving us when we shouldn't be forgiven, Lord, and for giving us a time to make it right before it's too late. And pray that the ones that are that are on the wrong path, that we open up our hearts and our eyes and give it to you and change our ways before time comes, Lord. That we may find our way back in through the narrow gates to, to meet you in the end, Lord. We thank you for preparing a place for us in heaven. And we also thank you for preparing a place for the ones that don't deserve in hell, Lord. We thank you for all the things that you're doing for us right now, Lord, for all the blessings, great and unseen, Lord, behind closed doors, Lord. Thank you for the kids that are even the ones that are just kind of strained away. We pray that you would just show them the right way and bring them back to you, Lord. We pray that you keep your gifts and your angels upon them. No matter what things look like, Lord, we know that your word is true and that you will have the glory in the end. We pray for all the trips that ones we, we, the one of us that are about to take, that we'll just have a mighty journey and a mighty blessed time, and that you will keep all the airways and byways running smoothly, and that you will keep the planes in the sky, Lord. Keep us protected as we take trips, Lord. And journeys, we pray for the main church, the mother church, the way of the cross in D.C., Lord. We pray for Bishop Brooks and his congregation, Lord. All the other way to cross churches, even the ones that we have in India now, in Africa and everywhere across the world. We pray that their congregations will be under the protection and under the blood and that your spirit will flow through them, Lord, and that they will stay protected and underneath your care, Lord. We just thank you for all things right now, Lord. And we pray that your mighty service be lifted up today and that everything be for the glory of your kingdom, Lord. I thank you for my mother and father and my brothers and sisters, Lord. And how the Lord is beginning to bring us all closer together again. I pray for my brother EJ and his wife that is not here and that, you know, because they're alone. I pray for their dear family that you keep your hands upon them. Keep blessing them, Lord. I also pray for my great grandma and my grandmothers. That you just keep their health and strength up, Lord. That they may be able to see their grands again, Lord. 
that we may be able to visit them and spend time with them before you call them to glory, Lord. I pray for all, everyone that made it here today, Lord, that things just for pushing forward, that you would give them a mighty blessing, Lord. Give us visions. Give us dreams, Lord. I pray that you would just keep the strength going and that everything may flow for the goodness of your kingdom, Lord. I pray, I just pray for the government hill as a whole, that this whole hill will be blessed. And that everyone out there that's watching us and watching this service today will take something out of it, use it, and let it be for your glory, Lord. I pray that somebody that they ain't even never even seen or heard the word will come in, will come across their eyes, their vision, their ears today. And that a word will touch them and change their life today, Lord. We just pray and we trust that you would do all these things, Lord. And that nobody is like you and that you are above everything and everything is under you. And without you, nothing is possible. Or well, just pray for strength today, Lord. Pray for encouragement. Pray for nervousness to be gone away. Pray that your, your glory, you just your Shekinah glory will just shine today, Lord. We just pray for all things that's like you to just be glorified. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Hey man, let's continue to exalt the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings. Hallelujah, Jesus God. Because truly he is in this place. Hallelujah, Jesus God. Oh God, we thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Let us worship. Hallelujah, God. Yes, Jesus God. Say he is exalted. He is exalted. The King. The King is exalted. And I. He is exalted. The king. The king is exalted. And I. And I. I will praise him. Will praise Say he him. is exalted. He is exalted. The king is exalted. The king is exalted. And I. And I. Will praise. Will praise his name. Thank you, Jesus. The King is exalted, and I, I will praise, will praise Him. He is exalted. The King, the King is exalted, and I will praise His name. position hallelujah things begin to change hallelujah if we put him in his right position things begin to change hallelujah god oh god in the name of jesus god we say hallelujah hallelujah say hallelujah hallelujah i give you 
glory. I give you honor. I give you praise. I give you praise. Say, Lord, we love you. We adore you. No one's above you. No one's before you. I give you glory. I give you honor. I give you praise. I give you praise. We say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. We give you praise. We say, Lord, we love you. Jesus God we give you praise hallelujah God we give you praise oh God in the name of Jesus praise is what we do hallelujah we give you praise we give you praise oh God in the name of Jesus 
Praise the God who's deserving of it. We give you praise. We give you praise. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. We give you praise. We give you praise. Hallelujah, Jesus, God. Oh, God, we give you praise. Hallelujah, Jesus. We give you praise. Hallelujah, Jesus. The God that we love. The God that we adore. The God that who sits high and looks low. The God who's never forgotten us. We give you praise. The God who has never forgotten us. Even in our darkest hour. Hallelujah, Jesus. We give you praise. Hallelujah, Jesus. Mike said even when we were undeserving, hallelujah, he continued to show us mercy, Jesus. So we continue to give you praise, hallelujah, Jesus. At this time, remain standing, hallelujah. Has Bishop come forth, hallelujah, Jesus, God. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, God. Hallelujah. Say, Lord, we love you. We adore you. No one above you, no one before you. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise, we give you praise. Say, Lord, we love you, we adore you. No one above you, no one before you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. We give you praise. We say hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Say hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Say hallelujah. Say, Lord, we love you. We adore you. No one above you. No one before you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Yes, Jesus, God. Hallelujah, Jesus, God. We give you praise. We give you praise. Hallelujah, Jesus God. Oh God, in the name of Jesus God, say we give you praise. We give you praise. Hallelujah, Jesus. When we look back over our lives, Hallelujah, Jesus God, say we give you praise. We give you praise for everything you've done. For every victory he's won, say, we give you praise, we give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise praise with the voice of our lips and with the clapping of our hands, with the sound of our, our voice. We give you praise. Anybody giving them praise today? Anybody giving praise today? I will exalt the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise for the goodness you've been to us. For waking us, waking us up this morning and starting us on our way. For the activities of our limb. For being saved today. We give you praise. We give you praise for our families, our love.
loved ones, for our uh, relatives all over this world. We give you praise for our sisters and brothers uh, far and near. We give you praise for just being God, being the savior of our life, being the provider of our uh, income, being the provider of our food, clothes, and shelter. We give you praise for everything you've been, for everything you've done, for everything you're going to do. We give you praise for healing us when we were sick, uh, for raising us when we were down, for saving us when we were lost. We give you praise. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, we love you. Lord, we love you. Lord, we love you. Lord, we love you. We adore you. We adore you. We adore you. We adore you. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody lift their voice and say, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you for praise and worship. Thank you for your presence in this place. Lord, we do adore you. We do love you. Lord, we thank you for all you have done as we go in your eternal word today. I pray that you will open up our hearts and minds that we will receive out of your eternal word. I pray for those listening today and that their hearts and souls and mind may be opened up to hear what thus says the Lord. Bless your servant now as I minister to your people. In Jesus' name we pray. God's people say amen. amen. Come on, somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. We praise him for who he is. Praise him for just being God. Thank you, Jesus. Today we are happy to be here. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. We certainly honor him today and give him thanks for just being God. Thank you, praise team, musicians, uh, for the songs that have been rendered. Uh, you've stirred up our hearts and mind, and we're just happy to be here. It's good to be alive. Amen. It's good to be healthy. It's good, it's good to be saved. It, it's good to be in the house of the Lord. And, and we honor him today. And we thank him for all that he has done, is doing in our life. We're going right into the word of God. I, I, I thank God for the platform that he has uh, enabled us to put together. Uh, the Lord has been blessing us. Over these last, over this last year, and uh, even in times when we have to go in our our homes to broadcast, He still blesses us. Uh, but there ain't nothing like being in the house of the Lord. Uh, I am just so happy to be here today. I our study text today is found in Acts chapter four, verses twelve through thirty-one. Acts chapter four. Verses 30, 12 through 31. Uh, as you turn there, get your Bibles, your, your notebook, your pens, your pencils, and, and just follow with us today as we go into the Word of God. Uh, heaven and earth may pass away, but God's Word is going to stand forever. Great is our faithfulness. Great is thou faithfulness morning by morning new mercy 
as he. All I have needed, thou hand hath provided. Great is thou faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Acts chapter number 4, verses 12 through 31 is our study text today. I know the text is found in that 13th verse. Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled. And they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. When they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant, Men, they marveled and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. Uh, people usually pick up the character or characteristic of those they hang out with. Um, if you're hanging out people with the people every day and you don't begin to kind of like the same things and and do the same things, uh, something is wrong with that friendship. Amen. Jesus had been with his disciples for a little over three years and, and almost a half. And from that time, they, they pick up some of his characteristics. His, they, they remembered his teaching. Uh, they remembered what he did while he was on earth, the miracles and things that were wrought by the hand of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, so why not act like the ones we spend most time with? Um, if you're spending most time with somebody and you're acting like somebody else, something is wrong. If you spend a lot of time with the Lord but acting like the devil... <laughs> Something is wrong. You should pick up some of the characteristics of those that you hang with. Uh, that's why you don't see us getting so riled up and concerned about how people look, dress, or anything like that. Because I figure if you hang around long enough, <laughs> you're going to pick up some characteristics. How y'all listening to me today? Uh, we all don't have to look alike, sing alike, but uh, as time progresses, we will pick up some characteristics like one another. Why do all saints say, praise the Lord? <laughs> when you first came into church, you didn't know nothing but praise the Lord. And some people still don't know anything about it. You say, praise the Lord. They say, hello, how are you doing? <laughs> but you should be picking up some characteristics of those you hang around with. The Bible said they took note that these men that they were about to uh, punish and, and get on because of what they were preaching, they took note that they had been with Jesus. They had been with Jesus. And, and if you've spent much time with a person or a group and there is no resemblance, something is wrong. You, you don't even have to tell people who you belong to or who you hang out with. The resemblance, the, the, the characteristics will come out. Look at somebody and say, I know who you've been hanging with. It, it, it didn't take long for the, the, the rulers to realize that these group of men, they were trying to stop preaching that they had associated themselves with the man that everybody called Jesus. And because of that, there were, there were some characteristics that they picked up that would not allow them Amen. to stop talking about the goodness of the Lord. 
Today, I want to drop into your thoughts a topic. Have you been with Jesus? Have you been with Jesus? I can look at you for a little while and distinguish who you've been hanging out with. I can talk to you for a little while and, and distinguish who you've been hanging out with. I could put you in this service 30 minutes before service time. And I could tell who you've been hanging with. Because David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into where? He said, let us magnify, come on, let us magnify the Lord with me and let us what? So, so there, there, is a, there is a characteristic that we picked up when we hung with Jesus that we do when we come in to this place. We, 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 we supposed to leave all the other things outside. Oh, Jesus, can I get deep on you? <laughs> and we were, we're supposed to come in here with one thing on our mind. Uh, that we have been hanging out with Jesus. Uh, have you been with Jesus? Verse number 12 says, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Have you been with Jesus? <laughs> Y'all still there? Have you been with Jesus? And, and, and when Peter and those begin to speak to the, to the rulers of that day that had, been, had brought them in to try them and, and, and to look at what they were doing, he says in our text, now there they saw, they saw the boldness of Peter and those and the other disciples, Peter and John, they saw their boldness. What is, about, what is it about their boldness? Uh, something has to be different about them and their boldness. Why? They would stand in the midst of somebody that can condemn them and still be bold. Are uh, y'all still there with me? And they, they perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men. Don't worry about people when they talk about your ignorancy. Don't worry about it when they talk about you, you don't use proper grammar. All I want to know whether you've been with Jesus. People will look at you and they try to evaluate you on your, 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 your ethics in life and, and your, your, you know, your ability to speak proper English and your ability that you've been to the special school and you've gotten a certain degree. But all I want to know about you, have you been with Jesus? Because nothing else matters. I, I don't believe y'all believe me today. I said nothing else matters. That's why you see folks with Ph.D. blowing their heads off because they didn't walk with Jesus. They weren't with Jesus. But those that have been with Jesus, come hell or high water, you can make it through the storms of life. Why? Because you've been with Jesus. I'm an introvert by nature, and I, I'm very quiet, and I, I don't like to really be around people. But because of my walk with Jesus, I am forced. I don't know if that makes any sense to you. I'm forced to do what I do. And when it comes down to what I do for Jesus, I am just as bold as anybody else. Although I'm shy, when it comes to Jesus, I'm bold. Although I, I a lot of time like to spend time by myself, but when it comes to Jesus, I am bold. You better take note today that I've been with Jesus. I wasn't there when they hung him on the cross. I wasn't there when he went up on Calvary. But because I believe in him, I can take up, stand on the authority that I've been with. Yeah. 
They looked at the boldness of Peter and John. And when people look at you, there should be some perception of who you are and who you've been hanging with. The problem with the church world right now, people can't tell who you've been hanging with. My wife and I went up to the mall the other day uh, looking for some shoes. And we were going by all these stores that I'd never heard of. You know, when I was growing up, we, we, we didn't wear raggedy clothes. But there was a lot of folks, that's all they had. And they weren't wearing it because it was, uh, it was a style. That was all they had. And then I walked by these stores and people paying top dollars for raggedy clothes. I mean, if you want some pants or something with holes in it, I got a whole closet full. I'll sell you. <laughs> but, but people get attached to those things. And the reason you get attached with, to them is because of the people you are hanging with. Because yeah. if you go to school every day and, and you're wearing a two-piece suit and everybody else got on raggedy jeans, yeah. it won't take long to, for you to stand out like a sore thumb. Yeah. And because of the pressure of life, you go back and say, Mama, I don't want to, I don't want to wear a two-piece suit any longer. Yeah. Ignorance. And unlearned. And, and don't laugh at the people outside because it has flowed over into the church. Because when the church tell you to dress a certain way, you get upset. <laughs> but every time I look, I see y'all wearing the stuff that somebody else wear. And you ain't got no problem. Who are you hanging with? Huh? Who are you hanging with? Because people that hang together, birds that flocks together. How do you say it? Birds of, birds of a feather flocks together. I thought y'all knew some stuff. I bet I could tell y'all what, what the guy just died this week. TMZ or who, who was it? DMX. See? See how quick, see how quick y'all picked that up? I can tell who y'all been hanging with. I just got to throw something out there. You got to watch Bishop. Because I'll test you to see who you've been hanging with. Yeah, all together. If I say, everybody say Jesus, 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 Jesus. Hey, DMX. Who is he anyhow? He's dead. He's dead. And, and it didn't matter who he hung with. None of them could, say, could have saved him. Because death came to his door. Whether it be because of things he did, I don't know. But today he's not here. And a lot of it has to do with who he hung with. Because people will influence you. They'll get you to do things that you shouldn't have been doing in the first place. I was talking to a nurse uh, uh, a few weeks ago when we were down in Seattle, uh, Sister Davis, and, and we were talking about fentanyl. fentanyl. Mm -hmm. and, and, and most people don't know that you have to take a dose according to your weight yes. and your, your health and everything else. But you got foolish people out in the street yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. buying pills from people. I ain't know what's in it. Now, if anybody is ignorant and unlearned, <laughs> it would be a person who go out there and buy something from somebody. <laughs> and it might be your... Who is 
they took note that they were with Jesus. It brings us to our first life point. Let's bring it back to life. It's enough talking about Peter and John. Let's come to life. The change that gets you into heaven. The change that gets you into heaven. Because some people think just because you were born, you're going to heaven. <laughs> you know, you got to be born again. The first birth got you to earth. The first birth got you to earth. And I don't know whether you looked up in the sky lately. There's a long ways between earth and heaven. The change that gets you to earth. Verse number 12 tells us about that change. There is no other name given under heaven whereby we must be saved other than the name Jesus. I don't care how, how famous these people are. They can't save you. There is no power in their name. There is no salvation in their name. There is nothing in their name that can help you. Only thing it will do is take your money. What are the real changes? And a lot of people get mixed up on the real changes. Well, well if I dress a certain way, maybe that's the change. No. That's not the change. Well, maybe, maybe if I, I leave this church and go to that church, <laughs> I might make it into heaven. That is not change. Well, well, over there, they speak in tongues. And, and, I, and maybe if I was going in there and imitate a tongue. Because <laughs> some people think that just because you imitate somebody else's tongue, it will get you into heaven. But that, that's not the change I'm talking about. Because it's just like babies imitate how we praise the Lord. And how, how little man, he, he, he'll look at us preaching. He'll, he want him a mic and he'll, he'll start going on it. And that's imitation. imitation. Not the real thing. Y'all listening to me? Yeah. Just because you make some noise with everybody else is not the change that you need. The change that will get you into heaven is for you to realize that there is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved other than the name Jesus. I don't care who else you call on. There's nothing about and like the name of Jesus. I, the, the praise team sung the song uh, earlier, hallelujah, hallelujah, but there, there is no salvation in hallelujah. Hallelujah is a praise. I wish y'all hear me. But if you want salvation, you got to get the name Jesus. Hey, hey, hey. There is no other name given unto heaven whereby we must be saved other than the name of Jesus. Salvation is in the name of Jesus. And that's the change we need to get into heaven. Uh, if we just call on the name of Jesus and, and receive him into our souls by the infilling of the Holy Ghost, then, then that's the change we need. Uh, can I go to heaven? If you go, if you die right then, you can go right then. But if you live here, there's some more changes that you have to do. Because being saved is a, a process. You are saved. When you first are filled with the Holy Ghost, it's baptized. You are saved. Somebody say, I was saved. I was saved. And right now, as I speak the word to you, and you hear the word, you are being saved. Somebody say, I'm being saved. I'm being saved. And when the Lord cracked the sky and snatched us away, we eventually will be saved. Yeah, 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 yeah. Before he cracked the sky, there is a possibility. I said before he cracks the sky, there is a possibility that either any one of us might turn around. But by the help of God, all in my life, I'm going to try just to hang with Jesus. Because if I hang with Jesus, I know I'm going to make it. The change 
that gets you in to heaven. That's why the apostles were so bold. Because they knew they had a chance to go to heaven. Jesus said, I came that you might have life and that life more abundantly. The apostles weren't going to let anybody or anything forfeit their opportunity to go to heaven. That's why many of them died, lost their lives. Because they had that change, that change in their life that afforded them the means of getting into heaven. Over the, over the last few years or this past years, there has been a lot of changes that took place in Christianity. And, 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 and a lot of folks are scared. A lot of preachers are scared. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. And he goes on to say, verse number 14. Let's go with me for a little bit. Uh, the praise team was good and short, so they, they left me about 10 more minutes. <laughs> Extra minutes. And verse 14 said, Beholding the men, beholding the man which was healed standing with them, they could say nothing against it. Because the reason they're, they're standing up before the rulers is because they healed the man in chapter number 3. You know Peter and John was in going into the temple to pray at the hour of prayer. And, and this man stood there, or sat there at the gate begging arms of them or begging them to help him. And they said, silver and gold have us none. We don't have, but such as we have, we'll give it unto you in the name of uh, Buddha. Y'all getting there. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. They didn't say, come on, let's go to prayer and let's see what the Lord's going to do. They used their authority right there on the spot. So many times people ask for help. You want to go and pray about it. You have the authority to do something right then. Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have. In the name of what? Jesus, rise up and walk. The Bible said they took him by his right hand, and the man began, his ankle bone began to have strength. He jumped up, leaping and praising God. That's a change that will get you into heaven. But notice, he did not go back doing something else. He didn't stay there on the step and kept, kept on begging. Yes, sir. Come on, make it yeah. I told you on Thursday night, poor don't mean you're lazy. Poor mean you're disadvantaged. Yeah. Yeah. And that something happened in your life that you can't make it like other folks make it. But if the opportunity presents itself, you're going to get out and do something. Yeah. So this man gets up and he, went, he goes into the temple with them to praise God. And in the fourth chapter, they heard about it. And they want to know by what name you heal this man. What kind of power you have. What are you utilizing? Is this a new type of voodoo? <laughs> I want to know how did you heal this man you didn't give him any medicine you didn't take him to the doctor and this man is over 40 years old for 40 years he hadn't walked how did you heal him are y'all still there verse number 15 says but when they had commanded them to go aside out of the council they conferred among themselves people will talk about you when you walk with Jesus they may not say it to your face but when you turn your back they'll talk about you and it's not going to be bad talk <laughs> it's going to be things that they want to say about you that they are, they're afraid to say to your face because it, it will say that you're right it'll say that the way you live is right but behind your, your back they will talk about how righteous you are and how you love the Lord. Jesus. Verse number 16 says, saying, what shall we do to these men? For that indeed is a notable miracle. 
had been done by them is manifest to all them that dwell in Jerusalem and we cannot deny it. I hope you hang with Jesus long enough to people look at you and they can't deny it. That brings us to back to life point number two. Let's go back to life. Uh, an event that cannot be denied. The church needs to start doing something that cannot be denied. Back when we were coming up, uh, the church was, so many people were being saved and being healed and delivered. That people out in the world, people out in even denominational churches that weren't practicing uh, salvation and weren't getting into the move of God had to look at some. There's something about that church over there. They could not deny it. People will talk about praise temple here in Anchorage. But when they need a move of God, (laughs) when they need somebody to pray for them, when, when they need a miracle, yes, sir. they'll call on praise him. Yes, sir. So, so they can't deny. <laughs> Are y'all listening to me? They can't deny when they hear our praise. They can't deny. When they hear the word of God, they can't deny. When they look at the worship here in this temple, they can't deny. They might deny a lot of other things. But one thing they can't deny, that we've been with Jesus. (laughs) I know some people look at our broadcast and wonder why we begin it with prayer. (laughs) Ah, Jesus, it takes bold people to change things. You know, I've I've, I've told the story many times about the lady that had the ham. And before she bake it, she cut the end off of it and throw it away. And her daughter asked her, why, mama, did you cut the end off the ham and throw it away? She said, well, my mama cut the end off her ham and threw it away. And she went to grandmama and said, why did you do it? She said, well, my mama did it, and and I just follow after my mama. She went to great-grandmama and said, why did you do it? She said, baby, the ham wouldn't fit in my oven. There are people right now that are uh, are practicing formalities that that you won't even uh, be bold enough to make a change to see a new move of God. Help me, Jesus. Uh, Sometime in your life, something got to change because if you do the same thing you've been doing and expect something different, you got another thing coming. But if you want something to happen different, you got to do something different. And I'm not talking about following after the world. I'm not talking about turning your light down dim in the sanctuary and acting like you in a club. I'm talking about turning the light up and let the glory of the Lord fill the house. You got to have a change. Don't tell me I have to imitate the world to have a change. No, I imitate Jesus, and it's all a change that I need. And I'll say to you, you can't deny it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Ah, do something that can't be denied. Mm, Jesus. When I first met Jesus, you can't deny me of that one. Oh, man, you say anything you want. You can look at me and say I'm not saved. Anything you want, you can't deny me of that one. I know, I know when I first met Jesus, it was a change in my life. And I wasn't gray and old either. I wasn't, I wasn't even a teenager yet. But I met Jesus. I'm so glad that there is no age limit on Jesus. You don't have to wait until you get old to come to Jesus. Are y'all listening to me? You don't have to wait until you're over the hill to start serving Jesus. One prophet was eight years old when the Lord called him. 
Can you imagine an eight-year-old talking about, I know Jesus? <laughs> people, the people are so excited when they see our little kids get up and pray. Uh, one, one prayed for 14 minutes. They said, how do you get children to pray like that? And we can't even get adults to pray like that. They've been with Jesus. And you can't deny it. They've been with Jesus. Ooh, Jesus. You can't deny that we've been saved. Because the Bible said there is no other name under heaven given whereby we must be saved other than the name of Jesus. When I went down in the water in the name of Jesus for remission of my sin, I came up a new creature. When, when I baptize you in here, I, I'm making my business to warm the water up, make it comfortable for you, put a little Clorox beach in it to, to kill all the germs that might be lingering around. But back when I met Jesus, I, they had to crack the ice off the pool. And we went into chilly water. Oh, hear me. We went into chilly water. But I didn't mind uh, because I wanted to know Jesus. I wanted to meet Jesus. And if I had to go in freezing water, it didn't matter. I wanted. I wanted him. Uh, look at somebody and say, I wanted him. One thing you can't deny Thank you, that the Lord has kept me. Yes, <laughs> Over 50 some years ago, I got, I got to fill with the Holy Ghost. And the Lord is still keeping me. Yes, there be some days when I get a little weak along the way, but he's a restorer. He's a reconciler. He'll bring you back to the full because I know Jesus that you can't deny. Look at somebody and say, I know him. And you can't deny me of that. Church world problem is that we don't know him. That's why so many churches are, are falling and, and so many churches are getting weaker because somebody has put out a rule say you can't be together. You can't praise them together. You can't worship them together. I'm okay with rules and regulation, but no rules and regulation going to stop me, going to deny me my right to praise God. No rules and regulation going to deny me my right to worship my Lord and Savior. Savior. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, a preacher was put in jail the other week and, and people were all on Facebook. Oh, why did they do to the poor man like that? Jesus said we would go to jail. Yeah. Oh, it got quiet in here. <laughs> if you be bold, you go going to jail. That's why so many pulpits have gotten quiet. That's, so, that's why so many preachers have gotten quiet. You've taken all the government free money. Now they got a, a, a muzzle on your mouth. But I can say to you, know, you come hell or high water, I will continue to be bold about Jesus. You can't deny me of this. They say, well, we will put you in jail. Then you know, those in jail need to hear Jesus. Then I'll preach in jail because somebody needs to be bold. Somebody needs to do something that cannot be the light. Have you been Thank you, Jesus. with Jesus? Thank you, Jesus? So verse number 17 says, and I'm just going to skip him through there, uh, but, but that it spread no further <laughs> among the people. Now they can't deny that a miracle happened. But they just don't want it to spread. The government can't deny that the church is a help to the community. But they don't want it to spread. 
I asked a candidate a few weeks ago at, at a dinner, and I asked him, I said, uh, why is this that when they were closing down every sh- church in the city, yes, sir. Yeah. there was a pothouse opening up every other block? That's right, right. Yeah. They just don't want it to spread. Because, see, when the church spreads, and, and this, this has been proven, when the church spreads, Potthouses are closed. Yes, sir. Yeah. Brown Jug, that is right across the street, has to close down. You can't deny this. How many of you have been drug addicts and alcoholics? But when you met Jesus, See, the, the fear is, and the government knows that if the church spreads, they'll lose their taxation. Yes, yes Jesus. Because if the church were spreading like it should, there shouldn't have been one crack house that opened in Anchorage. I didn't know we had so many pot smokers in this city. <laughs> Somebody told me, say, well, it's for medicine. You can take one marijuana house and supply all the medicine yeah. to everybody that has that been prescribed in this city. Yeah. But what can not be denied, they can't deny that salvation brings about a change. They got all of these rehabilitation houses set up. But they, they have no records of good changes. But I tell you, once you know Jesus, it brings about a change. So that, that it spreads no further amount of people. Let us strictly threaten them. <laughs> that they speak henceforth no more in this name. Church. We threaten you. If you open up, yeah. Yeah. you're going to jail. That's right. And they're doing it all over the country. Yes, sir. All over the world. Yes, Close down. And if you come back, you put one person there, yep. one person there, and they just spread you all over where, 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 that, where, where you are together is stripped. Together is strength. Division brings weakness. That it, it may, and they are so subtle with their... Uh-huh. Yeah. They make, it think, make you think that is for your good. Yes, sir. But I heard Paul say, we know that all things works together. For your good and for those that are called according to what? His purpose. And so if the virus come, we look at it as that it's for our good. Maybe it's time for us to make a change. Ooh, Maybe it's time to close down some of these churches that have been a hindrance to the kingdom of God. Nobody can deny. Uh, let me finish this thing up. Can I get y'all out here early today? <laughs> Jesus. Then, then Peter in the 19th verse, but Peter and John answered and said unto them, whether well, it be right in the sight of God to hearken unto you more than unto God, judge ye. What Peter was saying <laughs> You just watch me. Because many of us want the, the law, the rule, threaten us. We shut down. We shut up. We get quiet. There are seats at the house right now that won't come to church. There are churches that are, they're not opening up to June. They're quieting it down. And, and what Peter said, you judge. And, 
And what I tried to do is I tried to show them, if you want to see what we're doing, look on Facebook. Look on YouTube. People's lives are being changed. People are being healed. People are being saved and delivered. You can't deny this. Then he goes on to say in verse number 20, for we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard. So verse 21 says, so when they had further threatened them, they threatened them some more. <laughs> We're going to give you one more chance to get this thing together. <laughs> they let them go, finding nothing how they might punish them. Because of the people, for all men glorified God for that which was done. <laughs> Man, when you got people back in the cause, when you got people seeing that what has been done is notable and is by the work of God, who can deny it? Who can deny it? Let's go on a little further. Verse number, let's skip on down to, let me see where I'm at here now. If the church would just rise up, the church would just rise up. The problem is what happened in the pandemic was everybody folded. You had one person over there say, well, I'm not closing. One person over here, I'm not closing. But the majority of them closed down. If the church would just Solidarity means we all are speaking the same thing. Yes, we got to be on one accord. Yeah. And we're going to do it. We got to do it together. Yes, are y'all listening to me? Yes, it goes on to say, verse number 24, and I'm skipping down. And when they heard that, they lifted up their voice to God with one accord and said, Lord. Now the, the disciples are praying now. Thou art God which has made heaven and earth and the sea, and all them that uh, are in, in them. In them. And, and they go on down to verse number 29. And, and now, Lord, behold their threatenings, and grant thou servant which, that with all boldness that we may speak thy word. <laughs> when rules and laws become a threat, then we need to pray for boldness. people trying in some way trying to look out for our health and safety but enough is enough let us be free to do what we need to do yes, sir. let us be free to set people free let us be free to heal people in the name of Jesus let us be free to let people come in and get salvation so the liquor houses can be closed down so the pot houses can be closed down so the drug houses can be closed down when rules threaten our survival Verse number 30. Yes. They go on talking. By scratching forth thine hand to heal. Yes. And that signs and wonders may be done by the name of thy holy child. Yes. It brings us back to life. Somebody said, let's go back to life. Back to life. life point number three says, when they had prayed. All right. Come on. Yes. When they had prayed. I inserted uh, earlier in my text, uh, in my lesson, uh, some people wonder why we pray in the early morning before servers start. So we used to pray before we went live. But the Lord changed that thing and we started praying, doing live. Why did we pray? Why? I mean, well, when, when, when we pray, something happened. It, it shifts the atmosphere. Verse 31 said, and when they had prayed, the place was shucking where they were assembled together and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. Now keep in mind, they were filled before, but when they prayed again, 
They were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And they began to speak the word of God with boldness. Notice they didn't begin to speak with other tongues. But sometimes you need a refilling in order to speak the word of God with boldness. Hey, hey, but after they prayed, some things don't happen until after we prayed in life that cause, causes us to pray. Anybody ever had a situation in life that caused you to pray? But are you a living witness after you prayed? Things change after you prayed? The atmosphere shift? Oh, Jesus. It's just something about the praying. Uh, the praying in the morning. Uh, and I don't want you to come up here uh, half uh, shaking, uh, nervous, uh, but just pray until heaven shakes the house. Uh, let God have his way. Uh, because when they prayed, something happened. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, and it goes on to say, uh, when you pray, uh, it changes the atmosphere. Jesus. Uh, Y'all may not understand, uh, but there's something about prayer that changes things. Uh, you don't have to pray long. Uh, you just have to pray right. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, and when you pray right, uh, it changes uh, the atmosphere. It makes the crooked uh, straight. Uh, it makes the exalted come down level. It make the low place uh, rise up. Uh, when you pray, uh, it sets the atmosphere for the praise team. Uh, when you pray, uh, it sets the atmosphere for the musicians. Uh, when you pray, uh, it sets the atmosphere for the congregation. Uh, when you pray, uh, it sets the atmosphere for the service. Uh, so there's something about uh, after you pray, that brings in uh, the power of God. Uh, the, the ultimate goal uh, is to be more bold. Uh, the ultimate goal is to get boldness. Uh, many of you are too shy. Uh, you are new, uh, down and out. Uh, but it's time for the people of God uh, to get bold uh, about their salvation uh, to get bold uh, about their God uh, to get bold uh, about their walk uh, with Jesus uh, it's time uh, for the congregation uh, for the saints of God uh, all over the world to stand up and be bold uh, about it uh, you say pastor I'm still a little weak uh, still a little shy still a little nervous uh, well, pray again. Thank you, Jesus. I saw Jesus. He's the Lord of heaven. And in the Garden of Gethsemane, he went up to pray. He prayed for a little while. Then he came back. And he went back. And he prayed again. And he came back. And he went back. And he prayed a third time. Not every time you pray, you're going to get an answer then. But I challenge you, pray again. Go seek God again. He'll open up doors that have been shut. He'll close doors that nobody can open. Thank you, Jesus. He'll make a way. He'll turn it around. He'll do it over. He'll save you to the utmost. He'll heal you. He'll deliver you. He'll set you free. Pray again until you get bold. Pray again until you get delivered. Pray again until he works it out. Pray again until he changes it. Pray again until something happens. Pray until something happens. Pray. I wonder, do we have any bold soldiers in here? I wonder, do we have any bold soldiers in here that don't mind lifting your voice and giving God praise in the house? I wonder, do we have any bold soldiers that used to be 
shy used to be shame faced but now that you know Jesus now that you've been with Jesus you don't mind let the world know that I'm saved to the utmost I don't worry about people looking at me because I'm saved I don't care what you think about me because I'm saved I don't care how you talk about me because I'm saved and if you don't mind and if you don't be careful I'll go and I'll pray again I'll pray that the Lord give me a little bit a little bit more bonus a little bit more power a little bit more authority I'll pray until the Lord shakes the house I'll pray until the Lord turn us around I'll pray until God comes in our midst pray 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 when it's not going your way pray when it's not like you want it pray when you can't work it out pray when God is look like he hide his face pray when you can't find him in the front you can't see him on the side pray when it look like God has left you pray Pray, because when they pray, look at somebody and say, when I pray, hey, when I pray, I felt the shackles. The shades fell away. When I prayed, husband I cried. When I prayed, wife I cried. When I prayed, children I cried. When I prayed, the church I cried. When I prayed, I cried because God gave me only boldness, boldness. Bonus, 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 bonus. I, I've talked about Peter and John, and they said that they were ignorant and unlearned men, but they took note that they've been with Jesus I'm going to leave you with this I'm not for the next few minutes I'm not going to talk about Peter and John I'm not going to talk about the disciples I'm not going to talk about whoever else that might have been with Jesus I just want to leave this in my conclusion that I've been with Jesus too look at somebody say I've been with Jesus too come on come on look at somebody say I've been with Jesus too look at my walk look at my talk look at my life I've been with Jesus too so no weapon formed against me shall prosper thank you all things are working for my good because I've been with Jesus too thank you Jesus when I step out of this place today I'm not worried any longer because I've been with Jesus too yes I've been to the doctor and I know what the doctor said but I've been with Jesus too yes I may have a court case coming up but I've been uh, with Jesus too. Uh, my family may not be acting uh, like they should, but I've been with Jesus too. Uh, hey, uh, this world might be turning 
upside down but I've been with Jesus too uh, my neighborhood is going to the dogs but I've been with Jesus too you said what what is that about being with Jesus because I've been with him I can leap over walls I can run through troops because I've been with Jesus because I've been with Jesus I don't fear what man might do to me because I've been with Jesus come hell high water I'm not worried about it because I've been with Jesus come death I'm not worried about it because I've been with Jesus and no grave can hold my body down because I've been with Jesus have you been with him have you been with him have you been with Jesus we can rather go home but have you been with Jesus because you can't tell me you've been with him and nothing haven't changed you can't tell me you've been with him and you're yet not bold but when you get with Jesus it brings about a change have you been have you been with with Jesus have you been with Jesus and maybe maybe you haven't been with him but but if you if you've been with Jesus if you've been with Jesus why don't you make some noise in this place why don't you make some noise in this house hey Jesus ah, I've been with Jesus if you can stand to your feet it's prayer time in the house when they pray Lord Jesus we we are praying for your people far and near those that are in this temple and those that are listening to us we're praying for you right now in that matchless name of Jesus we pray for your healing your deliverance your breakthrough whatever needs there are in your life by the name of Jesus we are praying for you because there is no other name under heaven given among men where we must be or can be saved. Lord, thank you for your visitation. Thank you for meeting us in this place. I pray that the words that have been given will heal, deliver, deliver and set free. I pray for all of those that are sick today, Deacon Perry and others. I pray for the healing of their bodies that God you will raise them up again in the name of Jesus I pray for your people all over this world that you will give them boldness in the name of Jesus bless your servant now in Jesus name oh Jesus I feel I feel, feel like anybody feel like on. anybody feel like going on right now? 
I feel like going on. Don't try your time. In all, we have special prayer, Cheston, and come, they come. Thank you, Jesus. They are traveling out this week on a missions trip. We're praying that God will keep them, protect them. Glory. Gracious Father, we thank you for the willingness to serve. I pray for Cheston and all those that are traveling with him that you will have your way in this meeting, that victory will come, that healing will come, that miracles, signs, and wonders will flow. In the name of Jesus, I pray for safe travel, airways and highways. I pray that every hand, everybody his hand should touch will be blessed in the name of Jesus. Pray for his wife. Pray for Mike and, and pray for Jackie in the name of Jesus as they go forth, Lord. I pray that you give them word to speak, Lord. In the name of Jesus, let your glory be with them. In Jesus' name, we pray. Come on, somebody give him glory. Somebody give him praise. On every hand, I feel like all going on. I feel like Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. At this time, we're preparing for our offering. Uh, those of you that are giving today, many of us have given uh, already electronically, but the rest of you that need the envelope, the ushers are available. Those of you that are out in uh, media land, Facebook, YouTube, if you want to be a, a blessing to the ministry that the Lord has given to us, uh, we ask that you uh, help us in any way you can. Uh, you can do it by cash app, dollar sign, praise temple, Alaska, or you can text the word give to 833-676-0308, or you can give through our Givelify app, this search for Praise Temple, Anchorage, Alaska. Thank God for anything that you can give to what the ministry of the Lord. The Lord is doing great things in the midst of his people. Yeah. There's a lot of good reports coming in. Continue your support for foreign mission, foreign fields. There is still great needs in those areas. Uh, whatever you can do to help us, we'll appreciate it in the name of God, in Jesus Christ. At this time, you may give. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. And we're preparing for our announcer. Um, those that need to give, uh, hold up your hand over there. Some will be